Whoa, what was that? Have you ever been in a deep, deep sleep? And then all of a sudden you wake up and you can see everything that's around you, but you can't move no matter how hard you try? The experience definitely might be scary, but I'm here to tell you not to be scared. There is a scientific explanation for this phenomenon. You mean to tell me that when I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm awake but I can't move at all no matter how hard I try and I feel like something's pushing me down my bed, it's not a ghost? It's not some sort of demon? Because I feel like it is because it's very scary. You mean to tell me that there's a scientific reason behind this? Yes, actually. What I hear you describing sounds like sleep paralysis, which is definitely not a ghost because it can be explained with chemistry. Chemistry? Isn't that where people mix different liquids together to make things explode or change color? Pretty sure that has nothing to do with what's happening to me. That's where you're wrong. Chemistry is a huge part of what's actually happening. Let me explain to you how it works. During sleep, the body alternates between REM, rapid eye movement, and NREM, non-rapid eye movement cycles. Each cycle lasts up to 90 minutes. NREM takes up about 75% of your sleep time, while REM takes up about 25%. REM is when your body is relaxed, but your brain is dreaming. And NREM is where your body is repairing itself for the next day. During REM, your muscles basically shut off. Sleep paralysis occurs when the person wakes up and is aware of their surroundings, but the REM cycle isn't finished yet, so you won't be able to move or speak until the REM cycle shuts off. It has a delay shut off because ionotropic GABA-A, which is a nerve receptor for the voluntary muscles, combines with metabotropic GABA-B for too long, and the combination is what causes you to be unable to move. Oh... Interesting, but why does this happen to me and what can I do to fix it? Sleep paralysis tends to happen to particularly anxious people. So eat well, get some exercise, and form a regular sleeping schedule and that should help. So it's not a ghost, but more because I'm so anxious throughout the day? That makes more sense. Maybe I should start doing yoga. Ha 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 ha. I agree. Yoga is good, but the best thing you can do is form a regular sleep schedule to avoid sleep paralysis. Thank you so much for helping me understand what was happening to me. Is there anywhere I can go to read more about this? Of course, anything I can do to help. If you want to learn more about sleep paralysis, check out my website. And good luck!